first of all, building an understanding that we want security. We want to create economic opportunity for families, for children. We want to create opportunities for people to live in a constructive, happy way. Uh, the right to be able to walk out and feel safe. Now, there can be more specific goals. There can be very, very general goals. However, we live in a tribal world. We live in a global world, and tribes must come together. And we see a, a, an, under fear this tri retribalization to more nationalism, to more small entities who are attacking others. The brain is not fundamentally hardwired to create war. The brain is fundamentally hardwired for social bonding. However, we have all been exposed to and see the violence that occurs. And what we know is that whether it's an individual act of violence in a school or a business, or whether it's more large group uh, violent behavior, it comes when there is broken bonding. The fundamental process in the mirror neurons of the brain, in the way the brain focuses, is to build collaborative relationships. Now, when the early warning system goes off and you start seeing danger or you start looking only for your self-interest, your own self-interest, then you begin to create these uh, wars that occur. And wars begin in the mind, peace begins in the mind. And that is where leaders have to go. And bringing it back to organizations, I think we have to understand that same process is working in organizations. We must have leaders at all levels who are focused on what common goals are. And where you have that, and you have the courage to say the truth, or as I say in the book, put the fish on the table. Because if you've got a conflict, a difference, where there's tension, disagreement, polarization, it only truly is an extreme conflict or a dangerous conflict when the bond is broken. If two people, two groups, two tribes have a difference, that difference does not have to lead to a, 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 a violent conflict if they maintain a bond. You don't have to like someone to have a bond with them. You simply have to be able to come up with a common goal. And we know this by some of the great actions that have taken place. The gorbachev reagan story of starting out as arch enemies who come together around a common goal, build a bond of working together and ultimately becoming personal friends. Now, this doesn't mean all these are going to lead to personal friendship, but the, the true, truly great leaders, the truly great leaders, whether it's Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, you look, look around the world, they have this fundamental view of how do we bond, how do we create relationships, and through that, find solutions and find problems.